everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Okoyemi Gaddis and today we will be um, discussing about OSKI which is the objective structured clinical examination so um, if you have watched my last video it was about um, the step-by-step um, -step process of becoming a nurse in the UK and I discussed several several steps and then this will just be the concluding part of that other video I posted and this will be basically for the husky exam like I said earlier husky means objective structured clinical examination so um, it's a practical exam don't forget this is the second phase of um, the requirements by NMC to become a nurse and the first phase which is um, the computer-based examination computer-based test CBT is um, just as it sounds, it's a, it's a computer-based exam. Um, however, OSCE is a practical exam, so you would have to do a lot of demonstration, a lot of talking and communication. So um, OSCE can only be done in the UK, which means that you can't do it when you're still in your country. It has to be done here in the UK. And um, once you get to the UK, um, your trust, your hospital or your NHS, or your care home as a case maybe your employer would um pay, should pay for this anyway so um they will pay for this and then your exam will be booked you can be asked to actually book the exam yourself the the money can be paid into your account however some employers actually just book on behalf of the candidates but um regardless of the situation whether you booked by yourself or um the employer booked on your behalf it's still the same process so we have three universities that conduct the OSCE exam in the UK. We have um, Ulster University at the Northern Highland. We've got University of Northampton and then Oxford Brookes University. So those are the three universities that um, conduct um, this examination. However, Oxford Brookes University has two campuses, the Oxford campus and the Swinning camp campus. So um, all in all, we have four centers four centers, three universities that conduct a ski examination. So OXI examination at the moment um, costs about £797. Yes, yes, £797. Um, I think he was almost about £1,000 um, before now, but um, NMC reduced um, the fee and presently it's, it's just about £797 or approximately £800. So um, once you make the payment, um, the university um, where you registered with would um, give you like access to their modules, their reading materials anyways, just for you to prepare ahead of time. And then for this OSCE examination, NMC usually advises, and even the university, these three universities, they usually advise that um, you prepare for about two weeks. Like nothing less than two weeks, but it could, it, of course, you could prepare for as long as you can, but it shouldn't be less than two weeks. Just, just for you to ensure that you're adequately prepared for the exam. So it's a practical exam, like I said. So you have, um, presently you have six stations. However, from what I read recently, um, NMC is proposing to, I think, increase the stations to ten, if I'm right. From what I read, um, I think. The plan was to start this probably in June or August. I really do not know, but I, I'm sure it's one of the one of um, the plans NMC would want to, you know, um, develop in the nearest future. But I know it, it should it should start any moment from now, like ten stations. But presently, um, you have um, just six stations. So out of the six stations, the first four stations. Um, would test the candidate's knowledge on assessment, um, planning, implementation, and evaluation, which is also called API stations. So basically, um, you have 15 minutes for each of these um, four stations, 15 minutes for assessment station, 15 minutes for planning station, 15 minutes for implementation station, and 15 minutes for evaluation station. So um, in the assessment station, you actually have a real patient, like you have an actor who will like act out the scripts. Yeah, that's, that's the best way I can describe it. So what I just mean is it is only in assessment that you actually have a human being, like a patient. But in, in, other, in other stations, you have um, just mannequins. However, you really have to demonstrate and act like you're talking to a real patient, you communicate exactly the same way you would communicate with a real patient so that's it 
so in the assessment station um just as it sounds you're basically going to assess the patient don't forget here you would actually have the real patient like a human being who is breathing who is living so uh who is alive so you're meant to assess the individual and as nurses i'm sure you actually know what i mean by assessment so basically what you do here is um, either the neurological assessment which is where you would um, do the gcs scoring or um, news assessments um, news is a national um, early warning score and then or community assessment so in the community assessment is where you use the the phq9 form that's in the community if the scenario is like in the community setting however it to be it to be stated on your on your question so you know if you're meant to do um a neurological examination that's where you would use um the gcs core there's a form there's a separate form for that or where your uh, if it's a news um assessment you would have a news form or a news chat and then if it's a community assessment you have the phq9 form or, or assessment form as the case may be so you have 15 minutes in this station and um, you're expected to do all you have to do within this 15 minutes you're expected to carry out the assessments and chat properly appropriately and then you're also meant to like um still within this 15 minutes you're meant to um escalate if it is necessary like you you from this assessment you're, you should be able to make um judgments clinical judgment of what you're meant to do next um from the results of the assessment so um basically that's what you do don't forget you, you should still communicate with the actor as you would communicate with a normal patient so that's for assessment um and then the second phase is the planning here there is no patient it's, it's a very silent station because all you have to do is just to write however your um your nursing diagnosis will be um it has to you know um be in line with um the needs of the patient or the problems you identify during your assessment so the essence of assessment is to be able to identify the nursing problems or the nursing needs of the patient so whatever problems you're able to identify in the assessment and then you now plan you plan for that that's uh, um, um, the nursing plan so um, that would also take another 15 um, minutes but it's, it's just a writing station it's a silent station you won't have um, a patient and then you just be held by yourself so that would take so you are required to write two nursing diagnoses and plan based on two nursing diagnoses so the care plan is just for two nursing diagnoses so once you're done with um, the planning station you move to the implementation station the implementation station is is just for administration of uh, medication so medication or medications because it could be more than one so um this would also take 15 minutes at two you would have it's also a simulated scenario so you have a mannequin but you're meant to act like you're actually dealing with um, a live patient so don't forget um, you should um, ensure that you um, you don't forget the um, five hours of um, drug administration that is very key in this station because of course you're administering drug so you have to ensure the right patients right dose right routes right medication right timing and then write documentation so that's very key in this station ensure that you don't make any hero while administering medications because it's actually a fail any hero while administering medication is a total fail it's not pardonable so um after the um um implementation station also ensure that you document appropriately of course we know that whatever is not documented is not done so once you're able to um finish so the goal is just to be able to finish all that within 15 minutes ensure you check the patient's allergies the the core of all the stations just to ensure that Ensure, ensure your patient's safety, infection control, you know, those are the basic things they're looking out for. And then your communication and interaction rapport with the patient is also very essential. So after assessment, then you move to the evaluation. So evaluation is just like planning. The station is a silent station. It's a writing station. You don't have to demonstrate or act anything. You just put um, whatever you want, whatever your answers, you put them on paper. So just like i said it's an evaluation station so you're evaluating the care you've rendered based on the problems identified earlier and then your intervention so, so this time around you're just trying to evaluate and see if all the interventions have actually worked for the patient if there's any improvement so it's just the same way we do evaluation back in our country like nursing evaluation so it's 
but however in this kind of evaluation it's actually very easy because you would be given all the documents you used for assessment so you have all the assessment charts um your planning charts um your planning documents and then you have um your implementation chart as a drop chart the prescription charts and all that so you have all the documents yourself and in this station all you just have to do is go through all, all the um, documents and then you now evaluate the, the care of the patient the only difference is that here you'll be given another pen so you'll be given a blue pen for the um, first three stations you'll be using a, a black pen but here you'll be given a blue pen um, and then this station too will be for another 15 minutes so um, once you're done with that don't forget i said um for the husky examination you have six stations so once you're done with the four stations you have just two stations left and these two stations are actually skills and um, station so um overall for husky there are nine skills you have to like read about um, master and just learn about however you'd only get two of these um nine stations in the actual legs two of these actual you get two of these um, skills. Don't forget I said there are nine skills. But you will get two of the skills in the exam. But you need to read um, the O9. Do you get? So you read the nine skills. Like you would actually develop those skills. They are clinical skills anyways. But you don't get two of the skills during the actual exam. So um, it depends. Some of the skills um, would um, take another 15 minutes, some 12, some eight. Okay, just one will be eight, others 12, and then some 15. So um, depending on the one you get, there are nine of them. Um, you have the mainstream um, urine collection, urinalysis, um, subcuts, injection, intramuscular injection, peak flow rate, um, ANTT. Um, that's a septic non-touch technique. That's basically one dressing. You have um, about nine of about nine nine of um, the skills, but you only get two skills. And then at the end of the two skills, then your exam um, is done. Like that's all. Just six stations. The first four is assessment, um, planning, implementation, and evaluation, and then the other two skills. So um, once you're done with that then um however they would always tell you to prepare for another just prepare that you'll be staying in the um, exam center for about four hours but of course you would finish before four hours considering that um you'd only spend about an hour for the first four stations that's 15 15 15 15 minutes and then the other ones even if you're spending 30 minutes you should be done in one hour 30 minutes however uh, because of the protocols of the exam they would just tell you to prepare for four hours um for the examination so once you're done with that um i forgot to mention that once you get to the to the venue um you would um sign a form um which um simply just means that you won't be discussing um, any bit of the examination with anybody and this is just to ensure um ensure that um you're not trying to help or not of course there won't there would never be interaction between you and another candidate during the examination but of course they don't want a situation where you would um, be spilling the information about the exam to others so um you just sign a form um and then when you're done with the examination they will go through your documents so don't forget when you're going for the examination go with all the documents that you, you um submitted to nmc during your application process if you watched my last video you would um, know all the documents required by NMC for the application. So all the documents that you um, scanned and sent to them, ensure that you come to the center with the documents like your international passport, your decision letter, your nursing certificate, your birth certificate, all the required um, documents, just go with them. Because once you're now done with all the stations and all that, um, before you leave the exam center, they would actually um, verify all those documents. So once you're done with the examination, um, uh, in recent times people get their results um just the day after like 24 hours after the exam so it's pretty much faster these days and um it's um so once once you if you actually passed all the stations um you can pay for your pin immediately which is about i think 152 pounds yeah so if you once you pay for your um for your pin you will get a pin in less than 24 hours you, you will get your at most 24 hours but it's always less than 24 hours you get your pin which means that you've been admit admitted to the register, the name, uh, the register 
so um, that's if you pass if you do not pass um, to receipt um, the exam you would um, pay 397 I think yeah you pay 397 yeah, you pay three ninety seven pounds to receive the examination, but the good part of um, receiving the examination is that you only receive the portion of the exam that you failed. You won't be required to take all the six stations again. So, for instance, if you failed planning, you would only go back to receipt planning station. If you failed a skill, you only go, and it is the particular skill that you've actually failed that you'd go back and receipt. So it's not like oh, probably you failed, probably the initial time you had a wound dressing. And then you feel your own dressing and then you're going back to now um, maybe administer intramuscular injection no you're going back to do the same um, skill that you filled the initial part so and then once you pass it's still the same process you pay for your pin and then you get your pin and then you'll be admitted to the register so it's actually that simple so I just needed to tell you what um, your ski exam entails um, it can actually be overwhelming However, if you're able to prepare for minimum of two weeks, you should pass the exam. And then what I've also observed is that people can actually be very anxious about the exam. If you're able to cancel, cancel anxiety and fear, I mean, you should be able to pass. You just have to be confident in yourself. For you to be a registered nurse in your country, you have what it takes to become a registered nurse in this country. So don't be scared. Don't be fearful. Don't, don't panic. Like, you already have what it takes. You're, you're a registered nurse back home. So you shouldn't be anything less of that here. So cancel that fear, eradicate that anxiety, and just go and, you know, go and succeed, go and win. That's a mindset I want you guys to have. So um, I hope I've been able to, you know, just give you like a summary of what the OSK exam entails. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them at the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Yes, please do. Please like this video. Drop a comment, subscribe, and of course, share. Share, please. Share to your friends. Tell your friends about this channel. And let's grow this little community. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. Have a lovely day and we'll see very soon. Bye.